Well, Louisiana faces an unprecedented budget crisis, and today we found out it's even worse than we knew. Local 33's Talia Samalian is live at the state capitol with more on the grim outlook for our state. Talia, what can you tell us? Jean, Fred, this morning a panel of revenue experts shared the sobering truth about Louisiana's budget crisis. To put it simply, Louisiana is in a recession. But how we got here isn't as simple. Economists say we should blame plummeting oil prices, but that's just the start. If you take a look here, we could be in this situation for years to come, as oil prices aren't predicted to rise for a few more years. 750 million by June, 1.9 billion come July. That's the budget we faced. Today, it got worse. This is a major problem, and it's going to take a major solution. According to a panel of revenue experts, we're now short nearly $900 million just for this year. That means state lawmakers will have to come up with even more money if they want to prevent devastating cuts to state services. We can raise money all we want. We can't raise it that fast. We can cut all we want. We cannot cut it that fast. It's very, very hard to solve at this, at this stage. Governor Edwards suggested raising sales and tobacco tax to come up with some of that revenue. But at this point, we still may come up short. I, I don't know that we can raise every penny of revenue that's necessary, no doubt. So how did we get to this point? Pretty quickly. It began with plummeting oil prices. We know that that has also impacted employment as well. So we saw a drop in mineral revenues. We saw a drop in income tax collections. We saw a drop in sales tax collections compared to what we had anticipated. This will impact next year's budget too. The anticipated shortfall is beyond $2 billion. It's stunning. Very much so. Our state lawmakers will try and balance both of these devastating shortfalls at an upcoming special legislative session that begins this Sunday. We'll continue to track this situation and bring you the latest updates as we receive them. Live at the state capitol, I'm Talia Smalian, Local 33 News.